Okay, guys, so just wanted to show you uh, what Mrs. Claus got me for Christmas. Um, this is a, a, bod a bodega 12-volt uh, cooler, or I should say refrigerator slash freezer. It also runs off of 110, or it will run off of DC, so great for camping and glamping and you know all those kinds of things i just plugged it in and it's pulling right now trying to cool down it's pulling about 20 or 39 watts um i think it gets as high as like maybe 60 that's about the max it'll pull uh pretty cool little unit though let me uh move some of this stuff out of the way you've got a little readout right here shows the voltage that it's using you can you know change the programming and everything that's the temperature inside the unit right now because i just started using it it's got a little handle so you can kind of pick it up and you know roll it and all that you push these little buttons in that slides back in um it's got wheels on it oh and one of the other cool things a couple of the cool things is it has a bottle opener built in Got little handles there, and then if you notice right here, you've also got a solar port. So, um, if you've got solar panels that take the, I think it's the DC 5521 uh, port. I still need to check with the company. I couldn't find anywhere in the manual exactly what the wattage uh, limits are on this. I sent them an email, and I haven't heard a response yet. So... Pretty simple manual. Show you the inside. It's got a little lock, so it stays locked unless you kind of pick it up like that. And then on the inside, you've got little LED lights here and here. You've got a basket on each side, and then you got a little cutting board slash ice trimmer. If it if it gets full of ice, you can use that board to kind of shave the ice off. Um, now, this is, you can set this via a Bluetooth app for whichever side you want or the controls over here. So you can make this the refrigerator and this the cooler or vice versa. Or you can make them both the refrigerator or both the cooler. And it'll go down to negative four and then as high as like 68 degrees. I don't know why anybody would ever want a cooler set at 68 degrees, but whatever maybe you got cigars in there or something i don't know <laughs> i'm not really sure but uh yeah it's it's pretty good it, it took it uh about 15 minutes to come up to temperature it's got a nice little seal there all the way around it took about like i said about 15 minutes for it to come up to temp the other night when i was using it just to kind of test it and get it going i kind of let it run for um, overnight for 24 hours and they do also have an option where you can order a battery from them and then it's got a spot to take a battery so it can just run uh, independent of having a you know plug in power source or whatever but the reason that I wanted to get one of these is because uh, when it comes to power production like i've been talking to you guys about i want to be able to produce my own power and everything and if we have a longer term situation where the power's down then i want to have an option that is uh, more efficient than my big refrigerator upstairs as far as keeping stuff cool we have a couple of uh, freezers down here and those are pretty efficient um i would probably stack everything into one and just one run one if the power was down um or as much as we could or maybe one in the little one the little chest freezer but it's still nice to be able to have a refrigerator for some of your stuff that you you know want to use or whatever and so i think this is a great option for that and it's also good for camping and glamping and you know whatever else that kind of thing um but it, it's mostly a little more efficient and, and it will allow me to use the solar generators and things like that to keep it running for, geez, I mean, it 
60 watts, it would probably run for a couple of days before, you know, needing charges. So pretty cool option. Uh, this is the Bodega TWW55, I believe, is what it was, uh, like 50, 55 liters, I think, something like that. But pretty, pretty nice little unit. It's awful generous of Mrs. Claus to get that for me. And it looks like it's still, still, still going on. Uh, oh, it's on eco mode. That's why I need to switch it. Let me, let me switch it on the app real quick. Hang on. Okay. So I switched it over and I've got them both on the freezer setting now. And I turned it on the max, on the max mode. And, uh, it is pulling 72, 73 Watts. So that's the maximum that it'll draw when the compressor's on. And I don't know if you can hear it or not right now. I'll be quiet. The loudest thing in the room is that, that charger over there for that uh, solar generator. Um, but this thing runs really quiet. Now, it, one of the other nice things about this is it does have a battery protection mode or three different protection modes. So like if you're car camping or something like that and you plug this into your DC lighter, you can set it to high where it'll protect the battery the most. And basically when it gets to a certain voltage level, it'll cut off and it won't kill your car battery. Um, whereas if you're using like a, like a 12 volt battery or a solar generator or something, you can turn it to low and it'll run those things, you know, down a lot further and prioritize the keeping the, the food cool. So I thought that was kind of neat as well. But I really like that you can program both sides of it and all that too. I think that's kind of cool. So that's it. I'll uh, I'll show you again here in a second when I get it up to temperature. Um, you know, what the temps are inside of it and all that. And then we'll be good to go. Okay, so it's been about 20... 20 25 minutes probably we got both sides uh cooled down to negative four and the compressor's turned off it's sucking down about 1.7 1.8 watts which is basically nothing and let's open this up to see what sort of temps we got in here um negative 13 on that side wall and what are we looking at on this one? 35 there. Trying to see where the cold spot is here. Forty there. It's definitely not as cold on this side, even though they're both set on freezer. Okay, so let this run a while. I realized I had the setting wrong on it. So let's uh, look at the temperatures now. Let's see what they're running. So that one looks like it's negative one. And then this one over here like negative 13, seven down there, negative 13 over there. So it gets, uh, and what's that one say? Oh, negative 12 over here. So it gets plenty cold. Um, it's not super, super consistent with what it's showing on the, on the monitor here, but cold enough to make sure that your stuff stays frozen. So that's really all that matters. Pretty cool unit, and uh, I like it so far. It seems to be working out pretty well. So just showing you guys another option there in case you're interested. I'll throw an affiliate link down in the description below. Mm -hmm.